day 739 being Christopher Cruz. I think it's like 9.30 or 10 o'clock at night. Just finished our last session. It's beautiful out. Wow. Oh my God. So we came back for worship. And the first thing with that, it was like the, like the worship started and there's like 400 people there. I think like four or 500 people maybe. And um, I just went to the front. Like I started, I, I, I like walked to the front, but I was in the back of the front. And then I felt like God was just calling me, go to, no, go to the very front. So I went to the very front and, you know, had my hands up and everything and just, just thanking God and praying and all this stuff. And, and I look back and everyone in the room, all like 400 people are like, crowded behind and they've got their hands and people are dancing people are laying on the floor like i'm just like oh my god like these people are serious like they're worshiping and i was just like blown away because i was like man there's like 500 people to go to our church and there's like 15 or 20 people that go to the front and really worship and i'm like wow i've never been around believers like this like they are so they have so much faith and like uh, you know, I was just talking to the, the guy that I met when I was walking here. He he came to it and he's been coming for years, I guess. And he's like, what do you think? I was like, I had no idea it would be so much about God. Like, it's all about God. Like, not all about God. 80% about God, 20% about business. And the 20% about business is brilliant because it's all attached to God. And I was just like blown away. I'm like wow like these people have faith they have so much faith and you know i hear all these side conversations and god did this god did that what about god and god 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 and i'm just like yes 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 oh it was so incredible but that's not even half of it so i am uh i'm i'm standing up there some lady comes and just pray, starts praying for me she's like you're stepping into the new you're stepping into the new you're stepping into the new and then this this other lady came by and she's like, Chris, what do you need prayer for? And I was like, I don't know. And I was like, to, to like really step into my potential. And uh, she's like, okay, who do you need to forgive? And I was like, I just forgave everyone. I just did like this huge forgiveness exercise. And I was like, I don't know. And, uh, and I was like, oh, myself myself and she said what do you need to forgive yourself for and I was thinking and I couldn't think of anything she said ask God for the answer and I was like okay God what do I need to forgive myself for and boom it hit me and I just started crying I needed to forgive me forgive myself for not knowing God sooner for not knowing God sooner and wasting my potential and failing and then she just started praying and I just started crying and crying because I realized that I'm I'm angry at myself and I feel like a failure because I haven't lived into my potential. But the truth is that I can't live into my potential without God. And so this whole time I've been angry at myself and I felt like a failure and a loser and like I've wasted my life and wasted my potential. But the truth is you can't live into your potential without God. It's impossible. God created your potential and you can't live into it without him. So it's not that I suck or I'm a loser or something's wrong with me or I'm a failure or I'm mediocre. It's that I've lived my entire life with God and I've only accepted God into my life over the last like three months, like legitimately accepted God like three months, four months. And right when I accepted God, I go speak on two stages, bring in $26,000 in clients and it's just like my world gets rocked. And I'm like, oh my God, I haven't lived into my potential because I suck. I don't, it's not that I suck or I, I don't have... You know, I'm not intelligent or I'm not capable. It's that I didn't have God. I had purpose, but I didn't have God. I had the Lamborghini, but I didn't have the fuel. Just because your Lamborghini's out of gas doesn't mean that it's broken. Just because I didn't live in the, just because I'm not, li haven't been living into my potential, because I didn't have God doesn't mean I'm broken, doesn't mean something's wrong with me, doesn't mean I'm a failure, doesn't mean I'm a loser, doesn't mean I'm mediocre, doesn't mean any of that stuff. And so having that realization was like, wow. A Lamborghini is an incredible machine, but without fuel, it's nothing. It can't do anything. It can't go anywhere. 
and it's like we are the same we are these incredible amazing powerful machines but god is the fuel and without the fuel without god we can never live into our potential now the problem is i've seen that i'm a lamborghini it's like i know who i am inside i know what i'm capable of i know how powerful i am like i know all of this stuff this stuff why can't i move forward why can't i move forward i didn't have fuel and i only found the fuel a few months ago which is god and that's why my life is changing so dramatically you know, especially internally, spiritually, but it's it's rocking things externally. It's shifting things externally and it's breaking a lot of things, which is uncomfortable. But it's just like, wow. So this whole time I've been so, I've, I've just, my confidence is just like, poof, and I've been so frustrated and angry at myself because like, man, Chris, what are you doing? You're 35 years old. You can't pay your rent. You're overweight. Like your business is not doing anything. Like all these different things. And I thought like, there's just something wrong with me. There's just something wrong with me. And then there's not anything wrong with me. I've just been trying to do it my whole life without God. And now I got God. I have not wasted my potential. I couldn't even live into my potential without God. It's not that the Lamborghini can't drive. It just needs fuel to drive. It needs fuel to move forward. I've been trying to push it. I've been trying to push the Lamborghini without fuel and you can only get it so far and it takes so much effort and so much energy and you can't get it very far because it's so heavy. That's what it feels like I've been doing with my life. I've been pushing and pushing and it's just moved inches, just inches. And I feel like, when you, but when you put the fuel in a Lamborghini, pew, pew, and that's exactly what I feel like I'm doing. Just pew. The closer I get to God, the faster I feel like I'm moving towards my my potential and my purpose and everything so it's like i had purpose but i didn't have god i had the lamborghini but i didn't have the fuel that doesn't make me a failure that doesn't make me mediocre that doesn't make me a loser i was just lost and that's what god gave me when i was praying he said you're not a failure you were just lost there's nothing wrong with you you just didn't have me and i'm the source of your potential you can only live into your potential through me with me so, like, probably the greatest personal breakthrough of my life. Like, I can't think of a bigger breakthrough than that, personally. Like, to realize that I haven't wasted my potential to realize it's not my fault <laughs> to realize that there's nothing to forgive myself for there's nothing to be angry at myself for i'm not a loser i'm not a failure i'm not mediocre i am a lamborghini that just needed fuel and i found the fuel which is god and then i step into a room like this where I'm surrounded by people who have massive amounts of faith and the speaker who's wildly successful in in the world, but also wildly successful, successful spiritually with God. And he gives all the credit to God and he glorifies God and he attracts hundreds and thousands of people to him that, that also trust God, believe in God, God is their source. Like I step into a room like that and I'm like, oh, this is, this is my potential, but even bigger. And, and God just, God just gave me this. God gave me this framework and everything. He brought me to this conference. So, unbelievable breakthrough. Unbelievable freaking breakthrough. I was there for like 12 hours today and it feels like it might have been three or four hours. Just, they just poured into us, poured into us. And like the kind of speakers, right? <laughs> they have you know him who's who's the business guy but talking about god a ton and then two prophets came and spoke <laughs> and the band jesus culture came to play like it was just like what like <laughs> this is a business conference like wow what like what an honor to god and then them explaining like why god needs us to be successful in business why god needs believers to be successful in business and so it was just like, it was just so incredible. So incredible. So I'm blown away. Uh, I feel rejuvenated. I feel like I've woken up from a trance. Uh, 
I've seen my bigness today. I, I look at my life and I see how small it is and how small I'm living, how small I'm thinking. Um, I can let go of being angry at myself. I can let go of believing I'm a failure, I'm a loser, I'm wasted potential, I've wasted my life away. I'm 35 years old and I haven't done this, I haven't done that. I'm just freaking getting started. I'm just getting started because I just found God. This is just the beginning. <laughs> wow. That's really exciting because I thought the beginning started the day I was born. But no. Living into your potential doesn't start until you, until you find God. And that's why I need to help people. Because the people who have found God but haven't found their potential, but haven't found their purpose, they need it, right? They've got the gas tank. You know, they've got the tank. They've got the little gas can that's full of gas, but they don't have the Lamborghini. I got to help them find the Lamborghini so they can pour the fuel in the Lamborghini so they can go. I was the opposite. I found my Lamborghini. I knew my purpose, but I couldn't freaking live into it. And I didn't know why. I thought there was something wrong with me, but it was just because I was missing the fuel, which is God. Wow. Your purpose is the Lamborghini and the fuel is God. And without the fuel, without God, you can't get far with your purpose. You can try to push it. You can try to force it, but it's just not going to get very far. It's going to be exhausting. You're going to get burnt out and you won't make very much progress. And it'll feel like you're trying as hard as you can, but you just can't do it. You just don't have the strength to do it. And then you throw some fuel in there and that thing soars. So I am so grateful, excited. This is a turning point of my life. Like this is just nothing I could have expected. Like I, my whole perspective of everything just got flipped upside down today in the best way. Like my whole perspective just got rocked of myself, of business, um, of what I'm capable of creating, of the life I'm living. It just all got freaking rocked in the best way possible. And I'm just, wow. Wow. Oh, man, incredible. So incredible. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you so much. Thank you for showing me that I'm not a failure. Wow. I wonder how many people out there feel like they're failing. And really, they're just missing God. Or missing their purpose. Hmm. All right, time to make the drive back home.